would you tackle this calculation? We want to find out what 32 lots of 58 are. You don't need to know your 32 times table to be able to work this out. Instead, let's use the expanded method to find the answer. Write the numbers in columns, making sure the tens and ones are aligned. Start by multiplying 2 by 8. That's 16. Then 2 times 50. 100. Now 30 multiplied by 8. 3 times 8 is 24. So 30 times 8 is 10 times more than that. 240. Finally, 30 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15. So 30 times 50 is 100 times more than that. 1,500. Add these numbers together. 6 add 0 add 0 add 0 is 6. 1 add 0 add 4 add 0 is 5. 1 add 2 add 5 is 8. 1 add nothing else is 1. 1,856. Let's try that calculation again, this time using the long multiplication method. In this method, we multiply the numbers in the same way, but the way we write the answer is different. First, 2 times 8 is 16. Put the 6 in the 1's column and carry the 1 over. Write 1 above the 5. Now, 2 times 5, that's 10 plus the one carried over, 11. 116. We've multiplied 58 by two, now we still need to multiply 58 by 30. Three times eight. Because the three is really 30, first put a zero in the ones column. The zero pushes all the digits across one place to the left, meaning they're 10 times bigger. Putting the zero here means we can forget the three is a 30 and just multiply eight by three. So three times eight is 24. Put the four down and carry the two over. Three times five is 15, plus the two carried over, 17. 1,740. Now add up the two lots of 58 and the 30 lots of 58 to give 32 lots of 58. 6 and 0 is 6. 1 and 4 is 5. 1 and 7 is 8. 1 and nothing else is 1. 1,856. Let's look at the two methods side by side. What is the same? What is different? Now you have a go. Use a written multiplication method to solve this calculation. What is 41 multiplied by 23? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more. And if you liked our free resource, Show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up.